Hi, this video is for you if you want to stay a few nights at Zion National Park with kids. From doable hikes to where to get gear, this is all the information we wish we had before camping inside the park. Regardless of when you go, expect Zion to be busy, with most of the park only accessible by shuttle. Zion's main parking lot fills by morning, so if you aren't camping nearby, be mentally prepared to pay for parking inside the town of Springdale and use its free shuttle to Zion Canyon Village. The village is an excellent place for food and supplies, but where you can also walk into Zion through its pedestrian gate. The shuttle isn't far from the gate as you pass the visitor center, full of signage and park rangers there to help you with any questions. The park shuttles constantly run from morning to night, with exact times changing throughout the year, taking riders on a 45 minute, 8 mile drive that covers 9 stops. Of those, we explored two family friendly stops, the Temple of Sinawava and Zion Lodge. At the Temple of Sinawava, we tackled the Riverside Walk and the Narrows. From the shuttle, Riverside Walk is around two miles round trip, and the paved walkway is an out and back trail that winds alongside the Virgin River until it ends at the start of the Narrows Trail. Along the way, visitors can leave the paved path to stroll next to the river. It's a beautiful walk and entirely doable for families with a few rest areas and obese squirrels to observe along the way. At the Riverside Walk's turnaround point, folks continuing into Narrows just have to step into the river and walk upstream as far as they can. But however far you go, you'll need to ensure that you can make it back to the shuttles before the final ones leave for the day. Because if you miss them, you'll have to walk the 8 miles back to your car in the dark and the rangers won't bring you out. And if you've noticed, our outfits changed and we weren't adequately prepared for the river's height or the cold temperature when we went, so we had to come back the next day. If you need to get some of this gear on your visit, we'll talk more about that later in the video. And what an adventure it was, slogging through the river sometimes up to our waist. Trang was an absolute beast with Emery on her shoulders, and dozens of other hikers, young and old, made sure she knew it. Hiking through the river was fun, with gorgeous views around every corner. We made it almost two miles before I tapped out and suggested heading back. Our Narrows adventure took about four and a half hours from stepping off the shuttle to getting back on it but plenty of folks stayed much longer. That being said, there's nothing out there, so pack everything you need before you go. Our second stop on the shuttle was at Zion Lodge. There we bought lunch and ate on the lawn before tackling the lower part of the Emerald Pools Trail. Crossing the road, the trail to the first pool is only a one and a half mile round trip. And when you turn the last corner, the trail dips under a circular shelf and the water streams down from above. It's a beautiful spot, and most of the folks continue on from there to the middle pool, but we opted to stay for a short rest before making our way back to Zion Lodge. When we weren't exploring Zion, we were hanging out in our van back at the campgrounds, staying at both the South and Watchman Tower campgrounds over the week. Of the two, we preferred Watchman. It was a bit more secluded from the main road, and we enjoyed the site's layout more. In addition, the girls had great access to the river to play, and the bridge across the Zion Village provided us with a market that was close by. The only amenities we wished the campgrounds had were showers, but thankfully we've got a great portable hot water setup for our van. It works great, especially after hiking narrows and sweating in rented waterproof clothes. If you visit in summer, you might not even need any waterproof gear, but that wasn't the case for us. So we had to double back and get some clothes in town, and there's many places to choose from. Most folks got theirs right at the pedestrian entrance of Zion Canyon Village at Zion Outfitter. We opted for Zion Adventure Company further into town. They helped us with pants, boots, and walking sticks that would get us as far into the narrows as we needed and also showed us why our kids are too small for waterproof suits. The reason was that the suits have rubber gaskets that need to fit tight on both the forearms and shins to ensure a watertight fit. And unfortunately, our girls weren't big enough. So all we had to do was rent our gear, and we had that until 7 p.m. the next day. Outside of the main shuttle stops, Zion also has several great places to visit by car east of its main canyon road, and it's a beautiful drive all the way out to the east gate, which includes a one mile long tunnel through the mountains that our kids loved, and one gorgeous view after another. Unfortunately, the lack of parking makes a lot of these roadside hikes hard to fit into an itinerary. There are just way too many cars trying to snag the few available spots out there for the trails. We missed out on hiking the Canyon Overlook Trail on three separate occasions. However, we did manage to make it to the Pine Creek Waterfall not far from Zion Canyon's shuttle entrance. While it isn't an official park hike, it's a short one at less than one mile round trip, rewarding you with a beautiful waterfall at its end. But we only recommend it if you've got good hiking shoes and you can work through a few tricky scrambling areas with a potential drop on one section. 
One spot in particular required Trang and I's full attention as we carried the kids through. But once we were there, we were rewarded with a fantastic waterfall, and we had it all to ourselves for almost 20 minutes. In addition to Zion, there are tons of great spots around southern Utah to add to your trip, and we'll post our favorite recommendations here once we have them finished. We loved our time out in southern Utah, and we hope your family can also make it out there. And we'll see you next Tuesday back in California. Thank you.